Hi everyone, this is Nikki Rowlands with a layout for Simple Stories using the really lovely um, Here and There collection. Um, it's a new one, it should be, by the time this video is live, it should be arrived in stores, it will definitely have, have arrived in stores. Um, so uh, ch check it out if you're um, if you're keen to travel. Um, I initially wasn't too sure on the colour scheme, I was like, oh it's not really me, um, but actually it's perfect, it's perfect for travel, it's got some lovely pinky tones in it, um, and actually I really enjoy working with the dark papers, so um, anything with a black black background I, I always am really drawn to. Um, so I've got a sheet of white cardstock for my background. I've pulled out the um, like the flight board paper. I love that. I've got the stripy paper. I love that. The, po the postcard, not postcard, um, passport stamped um, uh, paper is on the other side of the um, flight board uh, paper. So um, yeah, I'm just... Um, using those sections of those and I figured that I would have a big section on one side of the layout but actually I moved the whole thing over to the other side of the layout <laughs> so um, I'm just at the moment figuring it out what am I going to do I've got the two photos of my boys um, uh, pulling their suitcases along at a recent trip to an airport um, I really missed a trick here because my little four-year-old um, said to me while we were there oh mummy we're at the plane station <laughs> which was just so adorable um but I forgot to put that in my as my journaling and I also didn't use it as my title so I'll have to re-scrapbook that story a different day <laughs> probably with this collection um so like I said uh, I have rearranged the layout now I've got it all over to the other side and now I'm just going to I'm happy with how it's all looking and now I'm just going to stick it all down so I love that those stripy papers I'm going to use some on the left hand side a very small bit and then I'm also going to bring that over to the right side as well so I'm now putting the passport stamps down on the right hand side and then I'm going to cover that with the um with the that one <laughs> the um uh what's it called flight board paper um so I'm putting that there and I'm adding a strip of the stripes to match the strip of the stripes on the left hand side um and then I'm going to add some more post um passport stamped paper there as well I'm going to just trim a bit of that off because I don't waste too much and then I'm going to fussy cut out um some of the um stamps from the other piece um, I've actually torn that edge as well I just felt that everything was looking a bit straight um, so I tore that edge there to give it a little bit more interest um, and then I'm going to get that all stuck down and stuck in place and that is going to form the basis of my layout there we go um, and I'm going to add two photos so I've got um, these two photos of my boys, I've just mounted them onto a pattern paper and then I'm going to get those, I've got those stuck in place at the top, not the top, but you know, top part of the layout, um, going over from the patterned area into the um, plain white area. So, and I've got the um, aeroplane chipboard piece, I've got um, the, what, the hexagon that says the world, that's a foam sticker I believe, um, and they are going to frame my photos over on the right. I've got um, pack your bag suitcase. Uh, suitcase had to go on this layout because they're for pulling their suitcases along. Uh, and then the two uh, fussy cut passport stamp triangle there, travel the world. Um, that's um, there as well. Um, and, um, and I just feel like I need to add some flowers and bits and pieces as well, so I will do. Um, love this uh, chipboard piece, we're on our way. Um, but wanted to use one of the words from the um, the foam stickers. And I decided on travel, um, but um, I was trying to get it in the right position, but I wasn't overly happy with it going I wanted to tuck it in to the photo, at the little corner under the photos. Um, but then it had to go over pattern paper and it just didn't stand out properly. So I've added it, I've moved it all over to the left a little bit and it therefore staggers beyond my photos, you know, beyond the um, left edge of my left photo. Um, so I, just to balance that, I've added those two arrows and I think that does the job perfectly well. It, it looks fine now. Um, so just getting everything stuck in place, I'm pretty happy with how it's all coming together. It's come together really easily actually, this collection is lovely to work with. I really actually, I was really surprised because I wasn't 
expecting to enjoy to love it um because say the color palette isn't one that i would have initially been drawn to because it's not bright colors and i do love bright colors um but actually the muted tones i just really loved when i was working with it and i just found uh, i made two layouts with it so far i just found that they both came together really easily it was a pleasure to work with really so um so give it a go even if you don't initially think oh that's ideal but um i do love the the, the colors the muted colors in those stripes the blacks um, and um, the pinky tones. Um, it's, all, it's all just lovely, really, really lovely. Okay, so I'm just continuing to add bits and pieces. Um, I wanted to add some florals. Now I've got the floral bits and I've pulled out some of those, but everything that I was adding just wasn't quite working. So um, they were either too big or they weren't just in the right angles or anything. So I, was, I struggled a bit. I faffed around quite a bit with the flowers um, to make them look right but I got there eventually I'm happy with how they look I ended up going for slightly less than I thought I would go for I thought I would put flowers top and bottom of the suitcase but it didn't really work so I've just got them at the top um, and uh, calling it a day really um, there adding some geo tags because geo tags are ideal for travel of course I've got some phrase stickers under the photo flight booked bags packed wonderlust and let's get away all ideal for my layouts. Um, just so my photos, sorry. Um, just raising those um, geo tags up on foam pads. Uh, one's a train, so that doesn't really work too well. Although it does go really nicely with my plane station story. Not that that's ended up on this layout, <laughs> but you and I will know about it. Um, and the car um, is on the mustard colour geo tag, but that works too because you know you have to get to the airport, don't you? Um, and uh, and then the plane at the top of course is perfect um so uh, yeah all going coming together really nicely um i'm pretty much done um i've added a few little flower clusters down the bottom um left of the layout i've added two label stickers to that that says go see do and vacation and then i'm just adding in my journaling underneath the um title um, and the we're on our way chipboard piece that i raised up on foam pads um and um yeah i need to um, add in um, I want to add in a few more bits and pieces as well but on the whole I feel like it's coming together nicely you can already see that I've pulled out my um, my brads decorative brads and enamel dots ready to um, to add um, so they are the next thing that I'm going to add there there we go I'm just going to add in a few circles um, here and there um, I've got up on the top with the flowers I've got you know, travel I've got stripes um, and um, just adding little dotted bits in here and there, everywhere, really. Anywhere I've got a little corner. Um, this, um, the passport was on the um, chipboard pieces of the decorative brads, and I really wanted to include that, but it was a bit late to include something so big. Not that it was very big, but it was just a bit too big for to, to tuck into this nearly complete layout at this stage. Um, so, um, so yeah. Oh, there's the. Um, little word strips going to the bottom left cluster. I thought I'd already added them. Um, <laughs> um, but they are now in place, or nearly. I'm distressing the edges slightly and raising them on foam pads because I do like a bit of dimension. Um, and um, just adding those there. They just finish off that little cluster, really. Um, you know, I didn't even really need the cluster at the bottom, but I just felt they added a little bit of balance. I've got a lot at the top there and then a lot of uh, space at the bottom. So I just thought that would work um, quite nicely um so uh, and a little heart as well okay so that's all kind of come together quite well all my enamel dots are in place um, and now I just need to finish off with a few splatters of white paint um, I'm going to it's going to look really good over the um black part of the layout so I'm just going to add most of my splatters there a few to the left of the photos and a few on the little bottom cluster but mostly over on the big cluster on the right hand side and there we go that is that layout complete um, I hope you enjoyed seeing it come together like I said I really really enjoyed working with this collection it was actually a pleasure to work with and I can't wait to make some more layouts with it so um yeah thank you so very much for joining me today that was Nikki Rowland for simple stories using the here and there collection <laughs>